Hi, so uh, today I wanted to try something a little bit different from my normal videos. I'm still going to be uploading like montages and um, uh, like funny, funny highlight stuff and all of that. Um, but I wanted to try doing a uh, like commentary style video with playing like Mr. Heroes in the background. So um, I'm going to be talking because I don't expect like amazing gameplay or anything like that. Um, but I've, I've always felt like that sort of stuff was really cool and it was something that... Um, I probably wouldn't be that good at, but let me know um, if there's things that I can do better because I'm doing this as like a, a first try and seeing how it goes. Um, so let, let me know what you guys um, think and um, any opinions that you have because I, I know that I'm not going to be doing amazing stuff um, straight off the bat at least. So um, today I'm talking about school. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. So, one of the things, um, speaking of good mornings, one of the things that I wanted to talk about today was, uh, y you know, like, at least from, uh, in my experience as, like, a, a high school student, um, one of the things that I'd always see, like, when I walk into the doors of classrooms is the teachers would be standing right by the doors, they'd be saying good morning to all the, all the students who entered, and, and that's something that, uh, at least I've been feeling like hasn't been happening in, in um, the virtual learning that's been going on, which I, I think is for the best, of course. Like it's obviously the safest way to go, but that's like one of the the big things. I've I have two I have two teachers who say good morning to the to the class, and everybody else just like starts talking and starts the recording and all of that. So it's kind of. Um, I, I feel like for the people who, I, I don't struggle with this sort of school because I, I work at my own pace and it's my favorite thing to do anyway. I like, like working on my own and working at my own pace and doing things um, like at my own speed and such. So it's uh, a lot easier for me compared to other people. But I think for those other people, like such a lack of um, like communication from teachers is also really important and that's what I feel like is uh, going wrong with this sort of schooling. But uh, I, I, have, I have like two major things that are happening during this time and that's esports which I've been focusing a lot on because I, I don't see my friends and such. Uh, and school because school is important. Uh, but I, I just want to talk about school today because otherwise this video will be going on for like half an hour and I don't want to uh, go through that. Um, so, like, I, I have issues with school, just because, um, like, it, it's not some parts of it, like, in there, and they're not, like, COVID-related or, uh, virtual on, on school-related, it's just that it's not my favorite thing, um, about the curriculum or something like that, um, and I, I've separated up my classes so that I talk about them all, uh, and, like, my, my two probably, like, least favorite classes I uh, just uh, my earth science class and my current events class, which, uh, yeah, let's let's just start with earth science, I guess. And then I'll get away from there. Um, earth science is an elective class, so obviously, like, it's not the best teacher. It's not uh, anything amazing or special. Um, but it also has. Like, no offense, but, like, students who work at a slower pace than I do. So, uh, to sit around for, like, 20 minutes at the beginning of class just to hear them say, like, uh, like, that someone asked a question, like, uh, well, what's the answer to this that you literally just went over and just talked about, and now we have to go over it for a third time now. Uh, so it's really, really irritating, and I, I it just, like... I, I feel like I'm not getting anything out of the class at that point. Um, so that's why I don't like Earth Science, but I, I dislike my current events class for a different reason. <clears throat> which the, the teachers knew, which is um, fine, I guess. Like, um, the teachers knew and he's trying to prove himself as like a, uh, a worthy teacher in my school system and all of that. But uh, it's still like... He, he doesn't know entirely what he's doing. It's also a class that I can't um, work at my own pace or, or learn on my own, which is sad. 
Uh, so one of the things that has been like happening is that uh, like, cl class just isn't as fun for me, at least. Oh, I got okay. Uh, and so I'm not I'm not having the most fun with that class, at least. It, it's not my kind of class, for the most part. But uh, in terms of like my other classes, we have five periods in a day, so um, it, it's a lot different than other schools. And we have uh, three trimesters, which I think is also a lot different than other schools. Um, at least like people have been confused when I told them that we used a trimester system. Um, um, so the next two classes that are like my, my next least favorites, I guess, are just my a -push class, uh, AP US History, and then my, uh, Geometry class. With, with both of them, like, are, are good, and I, um, I'm okay with it, and I still have fun sometimes, but, dang, I can't believe I was so close to dying there. Um, hello. Um, starting off with geometry, my geometry teacher is actually, like, one of my favorite people. He's the advisor of the school's esports team, so I know him really well, and I, and I talk to him a lot, but, um, it's still just, it's just, just because it's math. Uh, math has never been my favorite class, it's never been something that I've really enjoyed doing, mostly because I've, I've had a bad memory for, um, my entire, like, childhood. I've always, like, forgotten, like, lunch boxes at school and, uh, stuff like that. So it's, it's hard for me to, like, remember these complex formulas and when to use the formulas and all these different things. And I still do fine in math. I still do, like, very well in math because, um, I'm, I'm pretty smart and can, uh, remember things reliably, and not even reliably well, but decently well sometimes. Uh, but it's still just, like, a class that I'm not interested in, for the most part, because it's it, it's not stuff that I want to go into as a as a like a, a student as a person. I'm going for this, yeah, I'm dead. Um, like math, math, math has been my never mind has never been my favorite class. There we go. It took me a second. Um, but social studies has, and that's why I uh, I'm a little sad that my A push class wasn't as much as I hoped it would be, because I had been told, uh, oh, which spent well. I had been told that, like, it was going to be the hard class, it was going to be something that was really, really hard to learn, uh, and it would be a lot of work, which is, it is a lot of work, but it's not that fun, really, at all. Um, mostly because, like, the curriculum isn't about learning more. In a way, it's more about, like, like you're not going more in-depth on the things that you're doing and that you're learning. You're more, um, just, just reading the, the basic textbook faster, which is really sad because I wish that, uh, I, I wish that, like, it, it had lived up to my expectations and been a lot more fun. That's much guy. Uh, I still like it because it's obviously like, like I love history, I've been reading history books during the summer because it's uh, one of my favorite things and I love learning about history. Um, but it is just not been my favorite class because, because of the way that the curriculum is set up and um, not really for much else. To Talking a little bit more about the curriculum, at least, like, um, one of the reasons that, it, like, I, I've already said, like, it, it isn't teaching you a whole lot, but one of the things that I don't like about it is that it's not teaching you anything different from what you would learn in a normal U.S. history class. And this is, like, I, I chose to do this. I chose to, like, work harder and, and learn more and all this stuff, and all you're teaching me is, like, read the textbook, write essays that will have no effect on your life uh, from college on. So it, it's really like irritating to see the way that the, the class is run. And uh, also I, I don't really like the teacher that much, which is like, he's a fine person, but he also is like complaining about school and how school is set up right now. And it's really like, it, it's just really irritating to, to listen and complain because no other teachers are doing it. So 
I don't know what he's doing. I, I, I think he's just upset um, because he likes in-person school. But if my other teachers aren't complaining, then it's a little irritating to hear him complaining. Which is just my opinion, and I don't, I don't know like what he's like as a person. So <laughs> uh, that's just my take on it. Uh, one of the my, my favorite class though is my honors English ten, which um, I've always liked English. It's always been one of my favorite classes. Never really been my exact favorite. Did I get her? I did. Let's go. Um, it's never been like one of my amazing favorites, um, but this teacher is really, really good. So I've heard a lot about this teacher from uh, mostly from my uh, sibling because they had her as their teacher. I'll just call her like Miss L for right now. Her name doesn't start with an L, but I'll, I'll do that for like privacy's sake. Um, and. One of the things that she does really, really well is, first off, uh, I had heard, uh, quote-unquote, like, horror stories about her because she's a very strict teacher, uh, but she is very, like, receptive and will listen to you, as well as she tells you things, and she, like, tells you exactly, uh, how she feels about something, and, uh, she's very, like, communicative as a teacher, which I think is really, really good, as well as, um, she, uh, like, is very, um, like, and, and she said this before, she's, like, strong-willed, and she made her own curriculum for the class, and the curriculum I really, really like, because we're learning about American literature throughout, like, uh, early American history, so we started with, like, Ralph Waldo Emerson talking about American literature, the American scholar, um, stuff like that and now we're on to like how the how america that was stupid how american literature changed throughout like time and how it changed throughout like the entirety of um uh like the the early like what no that wouldn't be 18th century 19th century because of the way that numbers work i don't know why they do it like that but um i think the way that she structures it is really really cool and the way that she has this work together is also like one of my favorite things because I don't really other classes like kind of changed things so that you work alone a lot of the time uh, with virtual learning now but you never really like work as a group or as a team or anything and I think that this is but what she does is a really really cool way of doing it and I really like it uh, and so I have a lot of fun. And there's also, like, it's hard work. I, I get to work at my own pace and all of that. There we go. I need to get out. Uh, and so, like, but that's basically why it's one of my favorite classes. Why it's my favorite class right now. And I'm expecting, like, next trimester, uh, it to be one of my favorites, too. Because it's just so, it's so fun. And it's a fun class to be in.